Okay, comrades, welcome to the new video. The one of the last video was what you can get with 50 euro uh, here in Bulgaria as groceries. It was a Kaufland edition. So today I'll show you what you can get for 35 euro because this is how much I paid in Lidl and what I've got from Lidl. So let's start. 70 lira in the time was pension, but pack pot brought me another pot of stew. It would be a little bit different. I mean, it's not the same products I got in the last video. I tried to get different products so you can see different things and how much they cost here and whether you have such products where you live because some of them may not be available where you live, to be honest. I have the bill here, which is uh, this time in paper. And let's start with uh, reviewing the products. Again, I didn't have the chance to shoot in the store, but I shot the products when I got back home so you can see them. And again, a disclaimer, currently one euro is equal to one dollar and one dollar and one euro are equal to two leva, which is our national currency. And have in mind the minimum wage in Bulgaria is 350 euro, which is 700 leva. Just as a reference, just to know how much the products cost uh, and how are they related to the wages here. First, we've got some milk sticks, which are a new thing in Lidl, which I found. These are basically, I've seen in Western YouTube cooking channels, they use mozzarella sticks. This is basically the same, but we never had these here. Now we have them for the first time. So I decided to get them to try them and the baby we have quite enjoyed them and I enjoyed them. So they're quite tasty. Няма си вземе кашкавам и млечни пръчици. Хипстар. They were in offer this week, but typically one package which is 80 grams is uh, euro and 10 cents. But I got like 25% off when I buy two packages. I mean, you buy two packages and uh, you have 25% off of the two packages. So it's like 55 euro cents discount for both packages. Next, I got some Nuga cornflakes. I mean, these are some pockets of cereal, which are filled with uh, Nuga cream inside, which is very close to what Nutella tastes like. I really enjoy eating them from time to time just like that. I crunch them without milk or the baby when we go outside I got like 10 pieces of them in a, in a small sack for her and she's eating while we're outside on a walk. And for 400 grams of these cornflakes it's around euro and 80 cents so around three leva and 60 stuchinki okay after that we have two big pieces of pork this is uh, the piece from the pork neck typically it's uh, the most tasty meat of the pig in my opinion it has enough fat so it won't become like cardboard and if you cook it properly it's very very tasty we typically bake it or do it on the grill or if I'm very lazy, I just put it in the slow cooker and cook it with some salt and pepper. And after that, I make uh, some version of pulled pork. After that, it reheats very well and it's basically like uh, it's fresh. Вратлето най-хубавото месо, най-хубаво става на скарата или на шишчета. I got two pieces of this. One kilogram is around four euro, which is cheap. It used to be three euro, but the inflation struck and it got 25% up. So I got two kilograms and a half of it, which are four euro for a kilogram. So basically for the two pieces, I paid 10 euro, which is 20 leva. Okay, after that, I got this uh, salami. It's called Speck. This is like a thing only for Bulgaria, I think. I mean, other Slavic countries have similar types of salamis, but this one is uh, typical for us. And I got the, the one of the good brands. I mean, this is a little brand, but it says it has no strange additives and artificial things. It's uh, basically meat, spices, salt, and that's it. No, vreme imaš samo dva vida salam. Špekov i teliški. Sia mnogo gi znajete. It's very tasty and I enjoyed quite a bit and this week was quite an offer. Typically one piece of this is uh, around three euro and a half, one piece, but this week you get one and you get the other for free. So basically for three euro and a half I got the two pieces, which is a very good deal. And one piece is around 220 to 230 grams. And I enjoy it very much in sandwiches or just you cut it very thinly and eat it like that. It's like a pepperoni, something like a pepperoni. And it's very tasty. Next I got another Bulgarian deli meat delicacy, which is uh, dried meat. It's called filet Elena. 
uh, filet means fillet, like, yeah, you, you can get it. But Elena, it's the name of the town where they invented it. Typically, it's a pork loin, which is dried, salted, covered with some spices. And they put it on, on some ropes and it dries like, uh, like that in the air for some time around I don't know I don't know I haven't prepared it but two to three weeks most of the time they try it and it's very tasty actually one kilogram of uh, this deli meat uh, equals to around two kilogram of fresh pork loin and that's why it's very high and rich in protein uh, it's very close to pastrami if you know pastrami the greek thing but it's again a bulgarian version of it and typically it's quite expensive like 20 to 30 euro for a kilogram sometimes but uh, this week i got it like for two euro i got 200 grams which is a very nice deal because the kilogram uh, this way is around 10 euro for a kilogram which for this type of deli meat is cheap and it's very tasty just to eat it like that maybe with some wine on the side people enjoy it like that okay after that i got three packages of uh, salad this is a mix of different salads and i i love it to be honest it has romaine salad iceberg salad and it had some other salad Radizio, i think the, 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 these are mostly italian uh, italian salad but i like these packages because the salad is just ready to eat uh, you just put it in a bowl with some seasoning and you have an, a nice salad uh, each package is around 200 grams i think 250 grams uh, of salad and typically it's around euro and a half for the package but this week i got it for like one euro for the package so it's quite nice i got the three packages and we'll have some salad for the week yeah this is the price for it i got three packages after that i got uh, two packages of potatoes typically i have the bulgarian variety of potatoes which are bigger but these one were some french potatoes which are small and i figured that i can boil them and maybe saute them on the pan and just eat them whole because uh, i don't know i wanted to eat sm whole small potatoes they're quite tasty and yeah when you boil a huge amount of potatoes you can store them in the fridge for uh, the week and just uh, while before eating them you can put them in a pan with some butter and some olive oil and some spices and it becomes maybe the tastiest thing another thing you can do is smash them with with a glass uh, with some olive oil on the top and bake them and they become very crispy so the potatoes i got them i got like two packages each package is around 65 euro cent they're quite cheap and they were again on on an offer typically they're twice the price i mean this special kind of potatoes after that i got some whole milk two packages of it it's around euro and 25 cents for one package of milk i got two two of them uh, typically this milk was like 30 euro cent below this price before the inflation it got a little bit expensive mana but now the prices have like normalized a little bit in no время mlakto and the milk we use it for coffee mainly uh, or just to drink some protein shake or milkshake or, or something like that after that i got uh, two packages of mushrooms uh, which are each package is half a kilogram of mushrooms uh, my wife likes to bake them with some soy sauce i like to prepare some mushroom sauce with them which i quite enjoy so one package was for her one was for me Zgabite внимателно, че понякога ги ядеш само веднъж и край. And one packages of these mushrooms, which are cultivated mushrooms, is euro and 15 cents, which is around 2 euro and 30 cents for the kilogram, which is very cheap, like very, very cheap. And if you don't like mushrooms, just uh, check my recipe for uh, mushroom sauce I have on the channel. It's, it's, it's the bomb, trust me. Another thing I got is some apricots. They were like one euro for a kilogram. I got like a kilogram of them. I'll just eat them like that or prepare some compote with them. Or I'm not sure what I'll do with them, to be honest. But my go-to thing will be compote. Compote is a good work, but you can also eat it And after that I got some blueberries. These were this big variety of blueberries. These were Polish blueberries. The interesting thing here is one package is 400 grams. It was very cheap, euro and 75 cents, which for this type of berry here is very cheap. The funny thing is that they were the same packages near the Polish ones, like again, 400 grams. They were from some other country. I'm not sure where, but they were like triple the price. 
and of course I got the Polish variety because I like my Polish brothers, I like their blueberries and I like paying less money for the things. So yeah, I got two packages of blueberries for each for euro and 75 cents. Uh, after that I got an ice cream because I love little ice cream and we split it with the baby. Uh, like I ate the chocolate and she, she is the the strawberry and vanilla filling and yeah it's quite nice. Е, модерна работа. Едно време само са залет на топки от сладкарницата да имахме. Пет вкуса и това е. The final things, one of them is a citrus fruit, a huge citrus fruit, it's called pomelo. It was big as my head. So I, I still have it to be honest, let's see. Yep, almost big as my head. Ту и мяза на топка за волейбол бе. And this is some Sweet variety of pomelo, typically we buy them in the winter because they're cheaper. But now it was discounted from like 4 euro to euro and a half for that piece. So I got it because I love how it tastes and we just peel it and eat it like that. So yeah, euro and a half for that pomelo. And last but not least, I got like kilogram and a half of red onions and they're like very cheap, like 40 cents for a kilogram of red onions. Typically they're more expensive here, so that's why I got a lot of them. I'll just pickle them with some dill, uh, with some mustard seeds, and I may shoot that recipe, but everyone on YouTube are shooting like pickled onions for some reason. Look, Daima. Što mi ima look? Sičko je na red. That's why uh, I don't want to, to shoot the same things, but maybe I should. Like, I'll see, but my version will be quite different. I mean, I don't just put vinegar, sugar and salt in it, I put some spices in it also. It, it's very tasty. And that's basically it, what we got for 35 euro uh, in Lidl. These are quite a lot of things and again you have a lot of meat, you have a lot of vegetables, you have some fruit, you have some milk products. Basically a very nice set of products which you can use for a variety of things. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of these videos in the future and let me know some of the prices of the things you see where you live. I will be very uh, interested to see the prices in the other countries. And that's basically it for me for today comrades. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll love you next time.